It was only a little over two months after the nation of Israel had been a part of the great exodus from Egypt when they came under their first attack. The Amalekites saw the Israelites as an invading force upon their land and took swift action. This time, the Lord is going to respond differently. He's going to still perform a great miracle, but the people need to join him and be a part of this deliverance. Not only will the people have to join God at this time, but they also will have to support their leader, Moses. You know, oftentimes as, as a missionary, I realized being overseas and here in the U.S., the very true reality of needing people to help hold the ropes, people to support that work, not just financially, though that is a big help, but to stand beside you, to say, I, I support this work, I support this individual or these individuals, this mission, I support this vision. And that's what Moses needed as he had two men of faith stand beside him and help support his arms. As Moses' arms and, and staff were extended into the air, the Israelites were victorious. But anytime he let them down, the tide began to turn and the enemy began to, to gain the ground. So at that point, Aaron and, and her came along and, and put a stone on the ground so that Moses could sit down. And as Moses held his arms up, holding that staff in his hand, these two men stood on either side of him and helped support his arms, helped support their leader. Do we support those around us? You know, at this time, the, the people had a choice. They could fight in the valley or they could stand on the hill and pray. That, that's really a, a decision that's placed before us at times. Not everybody is physically able to fight in the valley, to yield the sword, if you will. But we all can at least support in prayer. We all can support with our voice. We can help hold up the hands, the arms of our leaders. God bless.